Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. I have some early access to Age of Empires 4, and there are lots of games being played in multiplayer. Uh, the thing is, though, they're all, or maybe not all, but mostly pros trying to grind for a tournament. And I don't really want to waste their time by having them play me, although maybe they would enjoy the, the diversion. But instead, let's, uh, let's play a game against the AI. I think that's a little more my speed. So we'll go up against Hardest AI, and I think a classic English versus French sounds fun. Uh, actually, oh, I'm only going to do landmark victory. I don't want the AI worrying about wonders and stuff. Let's see. I think I'll actually give him an intermediate ally. Because uh, just one hardest AI is a little bit too easy for me. I guess that actually probably work out. If I can rush the intermediate AI and then the hardest AI gets a chance to boom. So I can actually see it at full strength. Maybe Holy Roman Empire. Nice little European battle here. Okay, so I'm going to go up against both of these. I guess, like I said, the hardest isn't quite hard enough to give me a challenge. This one, I think, will be a challenge, though. I'm not sure the difficulty difference between intermediate. That works in simple attacks and defenses. The standard pace. So what does this one do? I mean, it's utterly ruthless. Highly optimized economy. Eh, debatable. And merciless approach. Okay, bring it on. I've actually been maining mostly Chinese and... The Mongols, but I just kind of want to do English, especially if I'm going up against two of them. I think with a critical mass of longbows, I would have a chance. I'll grab our other sheep here. And I don't have a super optimized build here. I mean, this is the game hasn't even been released yet. So for the Dark Age, I've got something figured out that seems to work fairly well. Okay, hopefully I have some good luck finding sheep, though. Be a little bit RNG sometimes. One gold. I used to kind of like getting wood first, but I've realized you don't really need that. Especially if you can find sheep. You don't have to do deer too early. Not doing so well with the finding sheep part, though. Yeah, we'll put here. Doesn't really matter where. Or actually, we should probably have them build that. Finally, some sheep. This has been not a great start. I have noticed that they tend to come in pairs, but I guess not always. Yeah, this is some rough sheep luck. Okay, because I gotta head back here pretty soon. I'm gonna be out of sheep. All right, now let's get some wood. Because at this point, I think like, I only have... Well, maybe we'll go one more on sheep. I still feel like I'm being a little bit unlucky here. Yeah, because I need the wood because a camp is 50 wood. So if I go and try to mill some deer or something right now, I'll have to chop long distance for my wood line. There we go. Okay, I'm starting to find a few more sheep. Bring them back now. I guess if I'm being raided, I'd rather have my lumber camp right here. Okay, let's have you grab this sheep here before I forget it. Go right there. Oh, I'm finding lots of sheep now. Okay, there you go. It's just, they're a certain distance away from the town center, I guess. Yeah, let's put some waypoints. I do wish... And there's a lot of little things. To be honest, I'm a little disappointed they didn't change more things from the stress test. Like the lack of waypoint indication. And I'm not really a fan of the uh, lightning bolt type thing coming down from the sky every time you right click. It's not a lightning bolt, but you know what I mean. I'm not a big fan of that. A lot of little things that I'm hoping they just ran out of time for before release. And I'm hoping they get around to some of that. And hotkeys. Man, they need to get hotkeys. So I, they do have hotkeys in this game, but I, I mean similar ones to the previous Age of Empires games. All right, actually we can advance here. And I'm gonna make my council hall, make it kind of close, or at least a little protected by the town center if I'm attacked. I've only got 20 wood, but I do have three of these. Okay, there you go. Yeah, we should have enough here. Oh man, if I could get this guy. Get a sheep. Yeah, deer seems so much better than 
No, I think I'm uh, <laughs> What am I trying to say? That uh, deer are much better than berries. At least in my opinion. Okay, let's uh, grab that. This is a little bit risky. Okay, let's run around here and then we'll go drop our sheep off again. Um, maybe I don't need this many on food here. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to think about what I need. So, a little bit later, get this. I need a lot on wood. I find food isn't really an issue. It's wood when you're making longbows. Okay, this should be a good number of sheep. And we got the deer. I have other deer. Okay. And that's a little far for me. Feeling a little nervous about that. Okay, we'll just bring it back. Fine. And does it actually say? Because the game usually gives you quite a bit of information, but it doesn't tell you how fast they collect from things. It's too bad. I don't know why they don't just let people know that stuff. Okay, let's see, I got scouted out there by yellow. That's right. That's the Holy Roman Empire, right? Oh, actually, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Need way more on wood. Yeah, because wood collects much slower than food. I guess a little bit slower, it seems like. Maybe not that much slower. Okay, so if I'm going to be playing against two of them here, I need to be a little bit aggressive. Maybe I'll get some stone. I guess I'll grab this one. That was a good time. Uh, which AI was that? That's the French. Yeah, French have a great economy. Yeah, I still need more on wood. Let's get that upgrade while we can. Yeah, very, very short on wood. Alright, so I'm going to grab the stone here because I want a second town center. Whenever I'm able to. And then we need wood. Yeah, 50 wood each. And they were made in 7 seconds. Wow. Okay. Oh, I already did all this. Okay. I'll just give you the root. Still finding sheep. Perfect. Yeah, it's so hard to keep this going. I did not put enough on wood. I think we're going to go for like 15 on wood. I mean, I don't actually know what the, um, the exact collection rate of wood is. I guess we could kind of try to figure it out right now and how many I need, but it's fine. Seven, so if I'm making like eight of these, it's made 400 wood a minute. Or a little more than that. And right now I've got 200 wood a minute coming in. So, yeah, I'm going to need a lot more on wood. Ah, oh, that's fine. Okay, so question is, do I try to rush the better AI? I kind of want to rush the weak one. Uh, so this is the intermediate AI. I kind of like the idea of rushing that one because then it gives the really good AI a chance to boom. And also a chance to raid me a bit. Which I think will create a good challenge here. Let's go. We need a little bit more wood here, guys. Maybe that's enough, actually. I mean, he's just reaching feudal age. And grab wheelbarrow. Even with 13 on wood, I'm still feeling like I'm really short there. Oh, uh, he's attacking me. Okay, he's firing me there. Alright, that's fine. I mean, I also like a barracks. I just... Everything costs wood. No, I gotta keep my numbers up, though. Yep, getting a pro, it's nice. I think those are like 100 gold. And if you're just gonna hand them to me like that, I'll take them. I gotta find 
woodbine, though. As this is feeling very exposed. In fact, again, it costs wood, but I'd love to make an outpost. Even with 14, I'm just getting to the point that I can sustain longbows. Oh, this is what I was worried about. That knights already. Okay, that's fine. Just one. I can handle one. Don't send any more. I'm uh, getting a lot of these villagers beat up, so let's not worry about that. There we go. All right. I'm glad I put those palings up. Nice. So we can just keep charging into that if you want. I would recommend it. Yeah, and as soon as I get enough wood, I should make a second town center here. Um, okay, let's bring these guys over here. Uh, stay out of town center range, though. <laughs> Even still, I can't quite keep up. Even with uh, 18 on wood, it's getting a little close. That is, if I trust that estimator there. Yeah, I haven't really seen red yet. Yeah, this is good. I think we're kind of knocking them out here. Oh, I gotta keep these guys together. Alright, let's do a little bit of healing. Bring these guys here. Ah, uh, this isn't deal. I gotta keep my numbers up too. Oh, now I'm under attack. I'm a little bit, um, a little bit under pressure here now. That's fine. I think, actually, <laughs> I've got so many units streaming in here. Let's, uh, let's form all these guys up. Uh-oh. Alright, I just need to get these guys away from my economy. Alright, a little overextended there, I think. Not too worried, though. Under a little bit of pressure. Um, it's so hard to get everything back to work. There you go. That was, uh, that was a pretty good raid. So let's think. What do we need now? We need a town center, ideally on golden wood. Let's do that. This is one nice thing about the English. I can actually heal these guys up now. That's going to be handy. I need to keep up my uh, numbers. I'm feeling okay for the damage I put on yellow. I did get quite a few villagers there. And now we've given red a chance to actually boom. Uh, we'll wait to be getting that tech, I think. Let's grab some more gold, I guess. Hmm, what do I need? I don't have a good place to trade, unfortunately. Unless there's a market in this corner. I still need wood. Uh, kind of food too, I guess. I guess we can get a little bit of food. Alright, you guys are going to get wood now. That's going to be good. Get a little bit of gold, I guess. Um, I'm going to build a market. I don't know where though. I don't have any good trade routes. So I guess I'll just put it back here. See if I can figure something out. Commander. 
Each timber of Chaos. Yeyer, Mapuga, Strelbor, Patagonia, no way. And just this one landmark can give you so many units. It's crazy. Um, I'm wondering, though, if we've got enough that we should go attack red. Any more? Oh, and he's even attacking me now. Okay, well, that's not very nice. Alright, I suppose we can get one of these. In fact, we can probably just kill this guy right now. Yeah, there you go. I kind of forgot these villagers are really good. And let's go back to wood. Okay. Um, yep. Okay, these guys are going to need a, a food source here in a sec. So I guess we could make a mill on the berries. I don't really have the free wood to get farms. So we'll have to do that. Uh, this seems like a good palings time. Yeah, I don't know if the, the paling is necessarily a good idea once it's kind of already charged in. Okay, and yeah, like I said, I just don't really I don't want to start trading here. Because it's right beside him. Alright, we won't worry about that. Yeah, almost have enough stone actually to um make another town center. Yeah, I don't feel like I have quite enough from wood. Um, let's get the that upgrade. Yeah, a lot of upgrades actually have kind of needed. Hmm, all of you guys. Let's uh guess we'll go there. Yeah, I think we got a critical mass here. We got 44 archers. I think we're ready. Had a couple of sort of dangerous raids there. Little new one of these. I find, yeah, just cut through wood so fast. Um. I would actually like to be going up to the next age now. So I don't know how realistic that is. Wood's good because once I start getting too much of it, then I just turn that into a bunch of farms. Oh, that's way too many. Yeah. In fact, I just realized it's more gold that I need. I'm just about ready to age up, which I'd like to do. I like to age up to Castle Age before 20 minutes, if I'm able to. But I'm pretty sure that when I get this, uh, this will fire on its own, and it doesn't need to be garrisoned, so even if I'm not looking, it'll be giving me a little bit of defense, at least. Uh, this seems like this will be pretty good. That's interesting, why did they get a, like, a little sprint? I haven't seen that before. Um, okay, this is a little dangerous. <laughs> it's out in the middle of nowhere, building farms. <laughs> Maybe it'll be okay. Yeah, it should be good to age up here pretty soon. We need a little bit more gold, although I could use the market here. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it is I need. Is it 1,200 and 600? Yeah. Access a keep. That sounds really useful. Let's put that there. Here. Seems like a good tailings time. Maybe before all the knights charge me. Oh, uh, this could actually be really bad. He's just going to stand there, though. I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to take that. <laughs> that was a little bit of a derpy charge. Maybe he just tried to stop himself from charging into the palings. I'm not sure what's up there. Okay, now he's going to charge. There you go. I think we got this, maybe start focus firing some units down. Hey, get out of here. 
Oh, this is a problem. Yeah, let's get in there. At least we got to the next age. Still alive. At the moment. And let's get our attack upgrades. Yeah, I think we got that one. Alright, let's try to push this guy here. That's the problem with two first one. Uh oh. Maybe get time for more palings. Uh, a little late. Ah, this isn't good. These horsemen have a nice bonus against me, but um, they're pretty light with the armor. So I'm not super worried about that. There you go. A little bit indecisive when charging sometimes. Alright, so that's, <laughs> that's a lot there. Let's, um... They'd kind of like more farms. What are you doing out here? <laughs> Okay, let's just uh, put some palings here. Uh, where's my other army? There we go. Okay, what next? Uh, I think we want some more upgrades. Uh, definitely the gold upgrade, finally. Maybe some horsemen would be nice. Uh, for a little bit of raiding. Okay, it looks like this is what I like, because you just sit here and kind of pester them. And they'll want to charge in, and they will every once in a while. Okay, yeah, let's go. Oh, nice. Oh, this is going to be a massacre, right? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, not getting too many villagers there. It's a little tricky when you've got units in different spots in the same control group. So when you try to jump to your control group, it puts it in kind of the middle. Like it picks the midway point of the units that you're... Sorry, a little distracted right now. Yeah, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. So I've got these guys on my group, and I've also got these guys on my group. So when I select them and say jump to that group, it splits a difference, and it throws my screen right here, just in the middle of nowhere. Whereas in Age of Empires 2, I think it jumps to the most recent unit that you've added to the group. Oh, that's not good. Alright, I think we gotta meet up here with these two armies. Let's uh, do that. Yeah, I think I'm getting there with my... So, I think that's probably enough for my economy. I'm probably enough villagers. I think at this point, it's a matter of just spending the resources. So let's go with a few more of these. I gotta find a way to kind of get in here a little bit. I think maybe if we could sneak in somewhere like this. Almost. I just want to be somewhere that he can't charge me very easily. Hmm. Yes, this is fine. I just don't want to be too close to that town center. Oh, that's a lot of, a lot of horsemen. Yeah, maybe it would have been better making palings there. I shouldn't have wasted my palings so early. It's a good fight for him. Uh, I say as he runs away. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I want some trebuchets here. Really bad. And I think... Remind me to not make any more... Um, any more villagers. <laughs> These guys are just wood. There you go. And you guys, I got a perfect thing for you. Yeah. 
All right, maybe just a couple more villagers. Oh, I really should have made these palings a lot earlier. Whoops. Yeah, see, at this point, I don't even know if it's worth it. Yeah, I think... I think I've learned you don't put the palings if you're already fighting, or if it's really, really close. Because I'm gonna lose this army now. Um, what else do I need here? I don't really want archers. In fact, if anything, I think I just need uh, some barracks. Yeah, that's not ideal. And also, I should probably get some upgrades. So let's see, what do I need? Basically everything. Yeah, I'm a little worried about yellow. I haven't seen yellow too much. Attacking landmark. What landmark is that? Not worried about it. Okay, what do I do? I've got to spend some resources here. I think I would like to get some more gold. I would like to age up if possible. Uh, this could be bad. Let's, uh, let's heal, though. I thought I would have enough units there, but I'm not sure I do. Um, this guy needs to keep making as many longbows as possible. Okay, so we're getting to the point. It's just a matter of making the units. Hmm, what else do I want? Maybe crossbows actually would be useful. Okay, let's put these guys up here. And these guys can take that down. Perfect. Need that trebuchet. Oh, I said I was going to make any more villagers. Yeah, I feel like 100 is plenty of villagers in this game. Oh, let's balance her eco. It's pretty bad. In fact, we'll probably just go up to the next stage. Do that. Uh, X is a keep. Actually, we should build that forward. Because keeps are great because you can make any unit a keep. Back, maybe we'll just build a keep. There you go. Uh, let's see. Make them faster. I like that one. Like that. Mangonels. Just whatever it is, I just need more units up front. Post up here, why not? A little bit of sight. <laughs> For Holy Roman Empire, when I'm done with the French here, man. I think that's gonna be a steamroll. We'll see though, I don't wanna speak too soon. Uh, definitely don't need that now. Yeah, I actually need a second blacksmith, I think. Because I find I'm always really low on resources in this game, and then just suddenly. You'll have all the resources you want, and it's just a matter of trying to spend them. And I don't think that says anything about the game. I think that's just where I'm at in knowing how to play it. Alright, more knights. There we go. Get a little stuck here. Oh, that's why we're getting stuck. We're under attack. So what do I need? I got 50 on wood. That's crazy. But I'm making siege and archers. So that makes sense. Um, I almost have enough. Oops. I almost have enough for another keep. I suppose I could save one keep for the um, Holy Roman Empire. Okay, let's move forward. These guys have a really hard time sneaking through spaces sometimes. Just because the unit itself is so large. Wait a sec. That's the French are just reaching Castle H now. Okay, feeling pretty good about this now. I was a little touch and go there for a minute though. Okay, so how many landmarks have? Five. Alright, so we gotta take that one. Yes, at least he's lining them up here for me. Let's start working on all these, I guess. 
Um, once more siege. I'm kind of switching into cavalry. Um, now I have too much wood. I really wish you could see the prices here. That would make it a lot easier. Yeah, I didn't even realize I'm selling for 16 each. Um, I don't think that's worth it. There, let's grab that. Yeah, I want enough for one keep, so it keeps 800. I want to keep enough for that. You uh, want to drop it on this guy. Right, let's get in here. And these are, this guy's just about going. Yeah, I don't know if there's... This might be here, I might be complaining about something that's not in the game, or that is in the game. But I don't think there's a select all military button. There isn't even a select all town center button. It's just some basic things here that would make a big difference when playing. even know how to deselect you guys from your group. All right, make a couple of healing guys, bring everything forward. All right, let's go. Huh, how come I can't build it there? Oh, it's probably telling me that he's got a stone wall there. I bet that's what that means. Yeah, that was weird, because I was trying to place it down. There was kind of like a dark area there. So I bet you that's what that was. All right, let's go. You know, I think the Holy Roman Empire helped this game a lot, though, because it prevented me, it gave me something to, like, I could actually rush, but I didn't end up just killing the French immediately. Oh, this guy's going to be tough to push. <laughs> Holy Roman Empire is always a challenge. Max, all their extra HP and their emergency repair and everything like that. I need those trebuchets. I thought I was making a bunch of siege. I'm not sure where it ended up. Um, I don't know where a lot of my units ended up. Yeah, well, no more idle military stuff. I guess we'll up here. I love that mangonels don't hurt your own units. I mean, it's not very realistic, but... I think he's going to destroy this. Uh, it's going to be pretty close. I think the keep's going to be finished, but he'll be on fire at this rate. Do I get up onto this, I wonder? Or I should make beach towers. I haven't done that yet. Wait, how much population? Are these three pop space each? So, yeah, I'm gonna be a little careful I don't make too many. Well, actually, I guess I already have pretty decent army. So, how does this work? I haven't even done this before. Um, okay, yeah, so I just put it up beside the wall. Can I get up? How does this work? Oh, I put them in. Okay. And then I've got to unload up on the wall. Nope. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here right now. Okay, so we're going to do G. And if I stay on top of the wall. Oh, perfect. There we go. Figured it out. Uh, <laughs> he's having a little trouble. Okay, we got eight in there. I'm gonna put them up here. I don't know if this is worth it. This doesn't. Yeah, this doesn't feel worth it to me. I'm not a huge fan of siege towers. It wouldn't be an Age of Empires game if siege towers weren't kind of a buggy mess, right? That part, at least, feels very familiar. Having played Age of Empires too, probably works better if I don't have so many units in the area. But. <laughs> you throw the siege tower in there and draw some fire. I mean, it's got decent HP. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be using a lot of the uh, siege towers. 
This feels like a lot of micro, and I'd rather just break the gate down. Which isn't to say that that's a bad unit. If you're smarter than me, you can probably figure out how to use it. Yeah, overboomed a little bit. That's right. Although I didn't even HF. Oh, I forgot to do that. Fine. We need to HF at this point. I do feel like this would have been a little bit easier if I had a good trade route. Like if I had a market right here. we have been getting some pretty good trade. Alright, let's focus down some. I don't even know where they are. What has he got? He's got one more landmark. Okay, what's one of these? That's a good one. Oh, whatever. It was one of those. Nice. So here's the villager numbers. Kind of interesting. The intermediate AI just never really seemed to make any villagers. I don't think it even got over 30, it looks like. Yeah, you can see that was pretty competitive. Up to 1740. Terms of score, which I'm not sure how they calculate. I was kind of neck and neck with the French. And you can see the intermediate AI is, is significantly worse, which I kind of like, because the more spread that you can have in different difficulties, I think the better the odds that somebody's going to be able to find one that is appropriate for them. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I know it's not the highest level of gameplay, but I don't know, I'm having fun with the game. Still in that exploratory phase, trying to figure everything out. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.